Hi there, welcome back. So what did we see in our previous sections? We saw that if you want to connect with our audience and express ourselves, we need to know how to open our talk. Then we looked at how to closing our talks and how to bring in meaning in our speech. Now we are going to see, and I've been telling this time and again during the level one also, how to emphasize, okay, how to stress upon certain words. So emphasis is again the order of the day and is going to make your speech not only really sound good because you're using your vocal cords, but also make your audience understand the main points or ideas of your speech. Okay, so let's look at what are we going to do here. There is not much to show, but there is more for me to talk. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Emphasis and subordinate. It's more about emphasizing on certain words. Okay. All right. Now look at these sentences that I've written here. And I have made some of these in bold, some of these in caps. Destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. Do you know 50% of today's students are not employable? Now if I read it just like that, destiny is a matter of chance, it's, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. When I say this, just the way I have already said, I do not strike a chord, I do not uh, connect, I do not express. But the same sentence, and, and obviously this is related to my speech, I have just used a, used a particular quotation in my speech. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. The most important word here is choice, which is why I have made it bold. This is what I want my audience to understand, that it's, destiny is not a matter of chance, it's about a choice. I have chosen this. Nothing comes to me. I choose. So, choice is what I want to emphasize on. Destiny is important, but choice is the most important word in this entire sentence of mine. Which is why I will read it aloud once again. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. So, when I say this, they understand, okay. So, when I'm emphasizing on certain words, my audience is understanding that this is an important word and this is surrounding the main idea of the speaker's topic or the main idea of the entire speech that the speaker wants to say irrespective of what destiny has in store for you, you can choose your own life, you can choose your own destiny. There is nothing called chance, it's all about choice. So when you're emphasizing on certain words or one or two words in your sentence, your audience understands your point of view. You are able to connect with them, you are able to express yourself. Also, you're able to make yourself clear. So once again, I'll read it. Destiny is not a matter of chance, it's a matter of choice. Has no impact on your audience. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. So that is when your audience understands what you're trying to say. Next is you're giving a data, a factual data. And you're saying that, do you know 50% of today's audiences are not employable? Now, if I'm just saying, do you know 50% of audiences, 50% uh, of students are not employable? That doesn't strike a chord because I have said it in a, uh, in a, in a tone which again we are going to look in subsequent sections. But I'm not emphasizing on what is important here. Now let's again reread re re the same sentence. Do you know? And this can also be a starting line for your speech. Okay. Do you know? 50% of today's students, here 50% is a very important data point. 50% of today's students, because you are emphasizing on students, you are addressing maybe the parents or the students. The audience is either a mix of parents or students. That is why we are emphasizing on them. 50% of today's students are not employable. So not is very important here, unlike here. Okay, not employable means they, they do not have the ability or capabilities or skill sets to be employable. Employable is very important word here because the parents want their children to get a good job. Want to, uh, they want them to study hard and get a good job. Now, if my speech is all about developing skill sets in children, that is why I have used this sentence in my speech, how impactful would this be because I'm striking a chord with the parents. Do you know that your child, if he doesn't, if he or she, uh, if he or she doesn't build these mindsets or skill sets, he or she will not be able to succeed in life. So when I want to put across my point, 
okay this could be a starting point this could be an ending point this could be an a, a line which i'll be putting in in middle of my speech but how well am i emphasizing on this line makes the entire difference if i just say you know 50% of today's students are not employable the parents will not take home whatever you are saying but the moment i'll say 50% which means that maybe your child can also come into the because half of the population is not employable and that's a big number 50% of today's students okay students and they are still students and if you do not let them develop this skill now they will not be able to develop it further is what i mean when i say only students are not employable automatically whatever action you want your audience to take they will take so this has lot of emphasis on your speech when you emphasize on words i'll give you certain more examples uh, i'll come back to rainwater harvesting i'll take some example from spaceship and whatever i have given earlier rainwater harvesting is important so that our rivers are restored okay this is what i have said and this is my closing line and if this is how i am saying without emphasizing whatever i have said so far opening in between whatever i have said maybe i have crap jokes i have given facts and figures it's all lost because the emphasis on the words was not there rain water harvesting is important to save our rivers let's say this is the line so i'm emphasizing in the entire sentence three three words rain water harvesting save rivers okay let's say now i'm talking about um afforestation building uh, you know planting trees and i had given that line right that next time when you go to a birthday give a gift a plant okay so how will i say that so my dear friends next time when you go and attend a birthday gift a plant so when i'm saying gift plant they know what they have to do so it's about gifting a plant so that the idea of a forest i mean uh, the idea of planting more trees is fulfilled or uh, we are talking about planets and we should be feel blessed that we are on earth and there is a life on our planet maybe my concluding remark or something in between that i say with an emphasis could be we should be happy that we are living on this planet earth our mother nature has given life to us so earth mother nature has given life to us okay so whatever you speak and uh, you remember i had said that you will have to write your main ideas sub ideas so those main ideas sub ideas the words that you've used you have to emphasize the more you emphasize the better is the connect and better you can express yourself all right so next time when you write your speech and when you're delivering your speech please keep in mind that you will have to emphasize on the important words so that you can build connect express yourself and inspire your audience thanks for watching